vibrant and alive and uh, distinct from the secular world as our Lord uh, again taught that his kingdom is not of this world it is present in the world but it is not of the world doesn't participate in the value system of the world and that's why icons for example are of interest not only to our people but to people beyond the Orthodox Church because they testify to another world and uh, that world which is permanent and that is the same which is reflected in our theological teachings, our doctrines and our liturgy as well. that in worship there is a very thin barrier, almost non-existent barrier between living and dead, and that when any community gathers for worship, the phrase or two or more gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them, reaches beyond the grave. So in a very real sense, one worships not only with the, the people who are gathered there, but with all the people who've ever worshipped all through history. And they are literally present. They're, they're literally present, as present, in fact, as the person to your left or to your, or to your right. So, uh, icons very powerfully illustrate that. There's a tradition uh, which uh, testifies to the fact that uh, St. Luke, uh, the apostle who wrote the third gospel, uh, was actually a physician and an iconographer. Some of our icons, we have an icon of the uh, mother of God of Iveron uh, from Mount Anthos, <coughs> which uh, has panels showing the history of the icon. The first panel shows uh, the iconographer Luke painting the Virgin Mary uh, in, in her time. So uh, we have that tradition um, of, uh, that goes back to the apostolic time. It has a general pattern. Our Lord is always on the right and the Mother of God on the left of the central doors, which are called the holy doors or royal doors. And you have the Annunciation there plus the four evangelists in the, in the doors in the center. And on the doors, which are the, the, called the deacon's doors, uh, not in the center, the angels are portrayed, Angel Michael, uh, Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel, with some other angels. And uh, because the diaconate office, which goes in and out of those doors, is likened to the angels, as the messengers, between the God and the and the people, and the icon uh, there is St. Mark, the patron of the church, and back hidden on the other side is St. Seraphim Saab, who was a beloved 19th century Russian saint. And on, above the doors is the Holy Supper icon. In the center, in the ceiling, is the Pantocrator, the Lord uh, Almighty of the uh, Judge of the Universe, uh, the term Pantocrator is the original term for the word Almighty in the Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the Father Pantocrator.